What's up guys, PPD here and welcome to another Collector Corpse unboxing. Today's theme is Superhero Showdowns and on the cover we have Daredevil and Bullseye. Bullseye uh, hasn't really made an appearance yet on the Daredevil show. Uh, I think it will be happening sometime soon because obviously he is one of the notorious Daredevil villains. And obviously they're going to be a showdown together and there's a bunch of other showdowns in the Marvel Universe so that is probably what we'll be seeing in this box of course the first thing we pull out is Iron Man and Ultron also a big uh, rivalry they obviously have been in the movie already on Age of Ultron which is nice uh, nice little patch right there then we have Hulk and Red Hulk uh, this one's a pretty cool uh, rivalry I think because uh, Red Hulk is kinda cool like seeing a variation in a different color of Hulk but uh, yeah, let's take out these plastic things over here. And the first thing we pull out is going to be... Wait, I think this is the thing that spoils everything. So yeah, we'll save that for later. Uh, the first thing is a shirt. Now, it's always nice when you get a shirt in these because they're usually pretty good. I'm going to hand over the camera to my camera girl. And let's see what's in the box or in the shirt or what shirt it is. And it's a blue shirt, which is nice. I like blue. And we have Spidey versus the Goblin. And obviously, this is going to be my favorite because I'm a huge Spider-Man fan. And obviously, it's Spidey versus Goblin because the Green Goblin's like one of the most popular Spider-Man villains. If not the most popular. I think he's been in the most Spider-Man movies. So I'd say he's definitely the most popular Spider-Man villain. It says, the day when rivals will clash. Uh, don't miss the battle of the century. A uh, hero forever changed. And it's got Spider-Man chasing after Green Goblin, which is very, very nice. I'm going to put that to the side over here. The next thing, it feels like a box, obviously. And it's Daredevil and Bullseye. Now this is really cool because while Bullseye has his usual design or costume, Daredevil has a black one, which is very, very cool. I really like that. Uh, I, I don't think we'll ever see it on the show. Uh, he's kind of already had a black costume when he started off. But uh, I'm pretty sure we won't be seeing this black variation. It's a really cool uh, costume though. And really cool Funko Pops over here. And let's see if there's anything on the back. Nope, it's just Bullseye and Daredevil. Really cool. Some more Funko Pops to add to the additions or the collection. The next thing I pull out is a pint size Heroes over here. It's got Captain America and Red Skull. Obviously, uh, Red Skull is one of Captain America's uh, biggest rivals. And we have a small little Captain America over here, which is very, very cute. And that is pretty cool. The next thing I pull out, it feels like a comic, I'm pretty sure it is, and it is, it's Inhumans versus X-Men, and we've got Wolverine over here, and I'm not too sure who this is over here, it's an Inhuman, uh, obviously, but I'm not too sure who it is, I'm not too familiar with the Inhumans, I definitely learned more about them uh, through Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., but I'm still not too... Uh, uh, like, I don't really know much about the Inhumans. And then we have the other pint size here. I didn't actually think we'd have get this, both of them. But we got both of them over here. Red Skull, which is very nice. So we can put them right next to Cap. And they are going to be worst enemies. <laughs> and that is pretty much it, I think. I, I don't really... Yeah, that was the last thing. So we're going to set everything up. And uh, we're going to see how it looks. But uh, I'm pretty happy with what we got. I really like these small guys over here. I obviously always... I'm going to welcome Funko Pops, and I'm a big fan of the shirts, so that's pretty cool. But yeah, we're going to set everything up, and I'll see you guys in a second. Okay guys, we have set everything up. It's looking good. We've got the mini Red Skull with the mini Captain America. We obviously have the box with Daredevil and Bullseye on it, and then we have Bullseye and Daredevil in Funko Pop form over here. Very cool. We then have uh, the Iron Man patch with Ultron. The Green Hulk with the Red Hulk on the pin over here. Then we have the Inhumans vs. X-Men variant edition of the Collector Corpse comic over here. And then, of course, the shirt. Spidey vs. Goblin. 
and it's very very nice and of course we're going to do a little bit of the reading over here on the uh, stuff and the backstory on most of it this is our second pop two pack in a Mar marvel collector corpse and the first time we've created a bullseye pop now i'm not sh i do remember uh getting the second well the, well, the first two pack uh Funko Pop. I just don't remember who it was, but I think it may have been Groot and Rocket Raccoon, but don't quote me on that. But yeah, pretty cool. The first time they've ever made a Bullseye Funko Pop. Obviously, they didn't really have a reason to make one because uh, he hasn't been on the show yet, and uh, I think he was in the Daredevil movie, but that was before Funko Pops were even a thing, so uh, it's cool that they finally made one. We then have the Inhumans vs. X-Men comic, and now it's uh, Sabretooth. Now, I don't think Sabretooth is an Inhuman. I'm pretty sure... Actually, he might be. Never mind. Uh, I was thinking about Beast. He's in uh, X-Men. But uh, Sabretooth might apparently be an Inhuman, which is interesting. I thought he was a uh, uh, mutant. But, yeah, that's pretty cool. They were part of the Weapon X project, which is interesting. Uh, then we have the Captain America. These are the first pint size heroes in a Marvel Collector's Corpse box, which is pretty neat. Uh, then we have uh, which rival pair was your favorite? Uh, we have got Green Goblin and the Spider-Man shirt. Uh, he made his debut in Amazing Spider-Man 14, so that's pretty early on in Spider-Man comics. And uh, he was probably one of the most notorious villains that they've ever created for Spider-Man. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much that on the shirt. The patch has Iron Man and Ultron. Obviously, Iron Man created Ultron, and then it kind of backfired on him. Uh, Hulk and Red Hulk literally meet face-to-face -face on this pin. This is the first time we showcase two characters on a pin. That's pretty cool. Didn't know that. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. This has been everything. Thank you so much for watching. This has been the Superhero Showdowns for the month of February. Next box, I'm not too sure what the theme is, but it's going to be in April. I'll see you guys then. My name is Pippi Deed, and I'm out.